China's latest space station endeavor, the Tiangong, offers a glimpse into the future of space habitation. With its stunning design reminiscent of a celestial palace, the name Tiangong itself evokes images of grandeur and splendor, reflecting its intended role as a beacon of human achievement in the cosmos. However, despite its majestic appearance, Tiangong is not merely a vacation destination in the stars. With approximately 110 cubic meters of planned, habitable space, roughly 4% of the volume of an Olympic swimming pool, Tiangong prioritizes functionality over extravagance. Its primary mission is to serve as a living quarters for up to three Chinese astronauts, providing them with the necessary facilities for extended stays in orbit. Tiangong serves as a platform for conducting vital scientific research, offering a unique vantage point for studying phenomena inaccessible from Earth's surface. While Tiangong may not offer the spacious luxury of a holiday home, its significance lies in its potential to advance our understanding of space exploration and pave the way for future endeavors beyond our planet's confines. Journey to the Tiangong Space Station the Tiangong Space Station stands as the crowning achievement of an extraordinary journey that spans over three decades, marking the culmination of China's ambitious manned space program. This monumental undertaking traces its origins back to 1992 under the ambitious banner of Project 921, which sought to propel China into the forefront of human space exploration. Since its inception, this endeavor has evolved into one of the most triumphant sagas in the annals of space exploration showcasing China's unwavering dedication to pushing the boundaries of scientific discovery and technological innovation. Over the years, the meticulous planning and relentless pursuit of excellence have propelled China's space program to remarkable heights, laying the groundwork for the realization of the Tiangong Space Station. Chinese Manned Space Step one of the Chinese Manned Space CMS program was to achieve human spaceflight, a feat that had eluded China despite decades of space research and satellite launches dating back to 1970. In September 1992, the CMS initiated work on the Long March 2F rocket, designed specifically for launching human beings into orbit. By 1999, the CMS had developed the Shenzhou-1 spacecraft, aptly named Divine Vessel on the Heavenly River in Mandarin, referencing the Milky Way. Although the inaugural Shenzhou model was unmanned and lacked life support systems and solar panels, it paved the way for subsequent missions. Weighing approximately 7,600 kilograms, equivalent to the weight of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Shenzhou-1 test mission launched from Inner Mongolia on November 19, 1999. Over the course of 21 hours, it successfully orbited the Earth 14 times before safely re-entering the atmosphere. The mission demonstrated the spacecraft's key functionalities, including attitude control, heat shield effectiveness, and separation from the Long March 2F rocket. Rumors persist that Shenzhou-1 also carried 100 kilograms of seeds into space to study their responses to the extreme space environment, though this has not been officially confirmed. This early success set the stage for China's continued advancements in manned space exploration, leading ultimately to the construction of the Tiangong Space Station, a testament to China's dedication to pushing the boundaries of human spaceflight. Step 2 of the Chinese Manned Space CMS towards space dominance China's ascent to becoming a major player in space exploration is marked by a series of meticulously planned steps, each contributing to the nation's growing prowess in manned missions and space station development. Step 2 of the Chinese Manned Space CMS program focused on launching a space laboratory to pioneer docking technology and facilitate short-term habitation in space. Waste no time, the CMS swiftly executed this plan with the launch of Shenzhou-6 in October 2005, carrying Taikonauts Fei Chong Long and Nai Hai Sheng on a multi-person, multi-day mission that lasted four days and completed 76 orbits. In 2011, China achieved another milestone with the launch of Tiangong-1, a prototype space station. This was followed by the successful rendezvous and docking of the uncrewed Shenzhou-8 spacecraft, demonstrating China's capability in docking technology. Subsequent manned missions such as Shenzhou-9 and Shenzhou-10 further showcased China's advancements as Taikonauts manually rendezvoused and docked with Tiangong-1, conducting experiments and engaging in educational activities during their 12-day stay in space. 
Despite its modest size, with just over 10 meters in length and 15 cubic meters of pressurized habitable volume, Tiangong-1 provided valuable insights into space habitation during its brief three-week occupation. In 2016, China launched Tiangong-2 aboard the Long March 7 rocket, demonstrating increased payload capacity compared to previous launches. Moreover, this historic mission saw two courageous astronauts embarking on an unprecedented journey, spending an impressive 30 days aboard the Tiangong-2 space station, an achievement that not only shattered previous records for Chinese space missions, but also showcased the nation's remarkable progress in manned spaceflight. As the astronauts orbited Earth, conducting groundbreaking experiments and contributing invaluable data to our understanding of space, their extended stay aboard Tiangong-2 underscored China's capability to sustain long-term operations in the challenging environment of space. Moreover, the successful docking and refueling maneuvers of the Tianzhou-1 cargo spacecraft in 2017 further demonstrated China's mastery of complex space logistics paving the way for future missions and enhancing the nation's reputation as a formidable player in the global space arena. These achievements represent the culmination of China's strategic efforts to establish itself as a leading force in space exploration, laying the groundwork for future advancements and the construction of the Tiangong Space Station. A marvel of Chinese engineering and innovation. As we speak, the Tiangong Space Station is bustling with activity housing three dedicated Chinese taikonauts under the command of Jai Ji Gang, who have called this orbital marvel their home since October 2021. The genesis of this ambitious project began with the launch of the first module in April 2021, a monumental event facilitated by the mighty Long March 5B rocket, affectionately dubbed Pang Wu, or Fat 5. This rocket stands as the pinnacle of Chinese engineering, ranking as the third most powerful in the world, trailing only the Falcon Heavy and Delta IV Heavy. This inaugural module, named Tianhe, or Harmony of the Heavens, serves as the nucleus of the Tiangong Space Station, boasting dimensions surpassing its predecessors, Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. Stretching an impressive 16.6 meters in length, Tianhe tips the scales at a staggering 22,600 kilograms, 50,000 pounds, necessitating its launch aboard the robust Pang Wu rocket, while offering a slightly more spacious environment for the Taikonauts with 50 cubic meters of living space, equivalent to approximately 1 to 800 cubic feet. It remains a cozy quarters, reminiscent of a Manhattan apartment, albeit in miniature form. Despite its compact size, Tianhe is a marvel of efficiency and functionality. Alongside the essential amenities such as sleeping berths, a kitchen and a toilet, the module houses sophisticated equipment, including computers, a scientific research station, and communication systems, all interconnected via Wi-Fi. Notably, Tianhe boasts a cutting-edge robotic arm, aptly named the China, facilitating various tasks and maneuvers essential for station operations. Powered predominantly by photovoltaic solar arrays, the station's energy needs are sustainably met, with occasional refueling missions by Tianzhou spacecraft to replenish chemical propulsion systems and ion thrusters. This capability proved crucial as Tiangong encountered potential hazards, necessitating evasive actions to avoid collisions with SpaceX Starlink satellites. Tianhe represents just the beginning of the Tiangong space station's ambitious expansion plans. As part of a third-generation modular design, akin to Russia's Mir and the International Space Station, ISS. Future modules will be launched incrementally, allowing for cost-effective construction, enhanced reliability, and the incorporation of specialized equipment. This innovative approach underscores China's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration while fostering international collaboration and scientific advancement. The future of the Tiangong Space Station. By the close of 2022, the China Manned Space CMS, program is set to embark on the next phase of its groundbreaking Tiangong Space Station project, with plans to introduce two additional modules, the Wentian and Mengtian Laboratory Modules. These new additions herald a new era of scientific exploration, providing researchers with expanded space for conducting life science experiments in microgravity, a realm where conditions vastly differ from those on Earth, and delving into the mysteries of cosmic rays and solar wind. Measuring approximately 18 meters, 60 feet in length, both the Wentian and Mengtian modules boast dimensions slightly surpassing the core Tianhe module, 
reflecting CMS's commitment to enhancing the station's capabilities. While there are currently no concrete blueprints for further expansion, CMS envisions a potential future where Tiangong could encompass up to six modules, offering even greater opportunities for scientific inquiry and collaboration on an international scale. Initially conceived as a response to China's exclusion from the International Space Station, ISS, Tiangong has since emerged as a beacon of success, garnering interest from a multitude of countries and space agencies. Entities such as the European Space Agency, France, Sweden, Russia and Germany have expressed keen interest in utilising the station for their scientists and experiments, testament to its growing reputation as a hub for cutting-edge research and innovation. Comfortable experience. Beyond its scientific endeavours, life aboard Tiangong offers a surprisingly comfortable experience, despite the inherent challenges of space habitation. Features such as a Wi-Fi network, individual headphone sets with bone conduction technology for lectures and experiments, and even a suction toilet contribute to the overall comfort of the living quarters. Moreover, amenities such as showers, sleeping pods with windows, gym equipment, and a neuromuscular electrical stimulator ensure the physical well-being of the Tychonauts, mitigating the effects of muscular atrophy induced by prolonged exposure to low gravity. The culinary offerings aboard Tiangong are equally impressive, with a diverse menu comprising 120 different dishes ranging from shredded pork to Kung Pao chicken, accompanied by beverages like tea and juice. To address challenges posed by low gravity on digestion and taste perception, most food items are prepared in small, easily digestible pieces, supplemented by fruits, vegetables and condiments like Zechuan sauce. Notably, the Taikonauts can enjoy hot meals, courtesy of an onboard microwave oven, the first of its kind in space, ensuring a satisfying dining experience even amidst the vast expanse of the cosmos. In essence, while Tiangong may not embody the opulence of a traditional palace, it undeniably lives up to its name as a heavenly abode, offering a harmonious blend of scientific excellence and human comfort in the realm of space exploration. In addition to achieving significant milestones in spaceflight and construction, the China Manned Space CMS program envisions the Tiangong Space Station as a cornerstone of scientific progress and exploration for the next decade, potentially extending its service life to 15 years. Over this period, a rotating three-person crew will not only conduct cutting-edge research, but also inspire and educate future generations of Chinese students. And amidst the awe-inspiring backdrop of space, there will be no shortage of Kung Pao Chicken, the perfect complement to the world's most breathtaking view